the baboons are out. And the baboons are angry. And Dempsey looks at me and goes, I hope the baboons don't attack. And I said, really? He goes, it'll be okay. We'll make a game plan if they do. What kind of a game plan do you have against 20 baboons and two arrows? Now here's the blood. Keeps going. All right, on this episode, we're leaving the dusty cornfields of Illinois. We're headed to South Africa. We're going to be hunting with Bailey Sipple Safaris. We're going to be taking our bows. we got a few different animals we're going to be after. The warthog, impala, wildebeest, uh, gimsbuck, stenbuck, you know. I guess our options are really open as to what we're uh, going to get, but got our bags packed in the truck, getting ready to head to uh, O'Hare International Airport, making a long flight to uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. We sat forever waiting for the right shot. We just had so many animals in front of us. If we took a shot, we risked a, a pass through and hitting another animal. So we just had to be real patient. yard shots. Evidently the arrow is perfect because it looks like it ran about 50 yards and dropped. I don't know how. I guess I hit the trigger of the release in between shakes or something because it, it went perfect and there's a big old wildebeest laying 50 yards away. It's unreal. start coming in, which is on my hit list, but they're a little bit sneaky and you weren't able to get a shot on them. And then flung a couple of arrows at a, a diker, but my fan, defense only stand two feet tall, so of course you're going to shoot over their back, but uh, I'll get one. Let's go check out this little beast. As I was walking up on this wildebeest, it, it just hit me how special South Africa was. What a magnificent animal, just unbelievable. 
Folks, here it is, a beautiful blue wildebeest, Bailey Simple Safari, South Africa. Animal didn't run 50 yards after being shot, just a fabulous hunt. You know, accommodations here are great. Bailey Simple Safari, look him up, give him a call, hunt of a lifetime. You know, Illinois whitetails are great, but uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain what just happened here, unreal. What an amazing hunt. This segment of Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Pulsar Night Vision and Thermals, Al's Goldfish Lure Company, TBJ Gourmet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They say it's a nice one. It's a good one. It's a very, very nice one. It weighs about 20 pounds. And real. It's like a baby fawn in Illinois. Unreal. All right, folks. This is a stem buck, one of the tiny ten of South Africa in all of its glory. Just such a beautiful little creature. <laughs> Hard to believe he's full grown, but I guess you never know where you're going to find in South Africa. It's unreal. What a day. You're going to go back to the lodge, enjoy the sunset, figure out what's for dinner. It's an amazing time. Bailey Simple Safari, South Africa. Check them out, folks. Nobody wants to help this everything? <laughs> <laughs> You know, this little stem buck might not be exactly what people are thinking about when they travel to South Africa to hunt, but this is one of the tiny ten, and it's just a phenomenal trophy, and I couldn't be more excited to have been able to take this animal with my bow. Every night while we were in South Africa, we were able to have a, a campfire. We got back into the lodge. Uh, campfire is ready for us. It's a great time to be able to rehash the day's advance, talk about what's going to happen tomorrow, and just get to know one another. <laughs> um, Jason just put what looked like a great shot in an Impala Ram. Um, I think I was too busy doing the guiding thing to focus on pressing the record button. You mean you weren't recording? <laughs> you wasn't recording? Oh no! <laughs> but uh, from what I could see through the, the viewfinder, which I was actually looking through ironically enough at the time, it looks like a perfect shot. We've had a look at the arrow quickly and it's got lots of blood in it. so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to find this one, but um, you're going to have to forgive me on this one. We'll, we'll have to do it again, I suppose. <laughs> but um, yeah, but it looks good, Jess. I'm Thank feeling you, good about it, man. But, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> you're standing just by the, the salt block here. Yeah. Maybe five, four, five, well, four meters behind. But it was a, it was a good shot. Look at the All the other one, the, the, it was a big group of them. It was a big group, yeah. So they ran away. They went everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, yeah. I mean, after the shot, some of them still came back and were drinking. It was Impala everywhere. But... It's just the first little bit of sun there. See what's Impala here. Alright, we found the Impala. She, he, 
probably ran about 60 yards. It was a good shot on it. We were a little confused in the uh, running of the Impalas as to which way he actually went. MC made a call, got the trackers out here, and uh, found a little blood off to my right. I was pretty certain the Impala went in there. I just walked down there by myself, spotted him laying down in here. Just a beautiful animal. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it on film, but uh, that's all right. It's a great Impala. Cannot be more happy. Bailey Simple Safari, South Africa. I was able to take a, an awesome Impala ram with my bow. Uh, through the excitement, my uh, PH Dempsey got a little bit excited and forgot to hit the little record button. This segment of Bone Wild TV was brought to you by Honda Power Sports, Henry Firearms, and the ESH Custom Calls. These Cape Buffalo, were, they would not leave the area. They just kept coming in, getting a drink, uh, bike to eat. As long as they were in the area, well, we weren't gonna see nothing else. Close captioning is brought to you by Pulsar Thermal and Night Vision. Gim's buck that we messed with all day, messed the water blow, buff, Cape Buffalo, I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> the Cape Buffalo have given us hassle, all spooked right. this animal off twice on us, came back in, I made a shot, we found the arrow, it was far back, we saw it on video, it was far back. No, well, she didn't go far, man. But we, she didn't we go found far. Right here, eh? Started giving she, good, good butt about 150 yards away, so yeah, it was, she was hard hit, man. We, we found her quickly. And it was a good shot, man. But luckily, Dempsey had his cannon with him <laughs> and was able to put her down you know I'm just so stinking thankful <laughs> listen, you, Dempsey. No, listen that's an awesome case by car man I'm very proud Woo! of you She's, this, this uh, thing probably has you're gonna find no teeth no, teeth. no, no hair no, on her ears no, on the ears scars just this is the ultimate case back in terms of age I think she was basically dead in her feet before <laughs> before um, Jason put a, a well shot a well play shot into her this afternoon, but, but Dempsey finished her off. There's not a single bit of hair on her ears, and there's the teeth are basically I mean, they're probably below the gum. I mean, that's this is just I mean, look at this neck, look at the ribs here. She's worn down, isn't she? Yeah, she's uh, I, I think you did a, a service to her actually. She's so old, man, and she's carrying an awesome set of horns as well. These, these are very, very long, <laughs> nearly as tall as me. <laughs> When Dempsey saw this old Gimsbuck cow making her way to the hide, to the water source, uh, it was an easy decision for him to have me shoot this old cow. She, uh, she had no hair on her ears, no hair on her legs, just an old, old cow. The amount of animals that are in South Africa is just 
phenomenal. You can sit in your hide all day and never get bored. This segment of Bone Wild TV was brought to you by Case Knives, John Bowes, and Alps Outdoors. Something they do here in South Africa is they burn dung. Uh, we were trying to get on a couple of warthogs we'd been seeing in a certain area, but we were keep getting busted by our scent. The wind was really swirling. So Dempsey took some dung from a warthog, lit it on fire and allowed that smoke to uh, go out through the area. Hopefully that was gonna be enough for the warthogs to come in. Without the most uh, screeching sound I've ever heard of any wild hog, and it was gone, but the blood trail was easy to follow. All right, we gave the hog about 30 minutes. We picked up the trail. Uh, the shot was quartering away. It looked perfect. Went in a little bit further back than what I, what you would normally want to do on a warthog, but it was quartering forward. So I'm hoping it exited up the opposite leg. We've followed him probably 150 yards so far. Can't really believe he's still on his feet. Here's Breeze across the road. We've got good blood. We've had good blood. The arrow looked good. So uh, he can't be much further. We're gonna just pick up the trail and keep going here. I really wanted a warthog while I was in South Africa and we just weren't seeing a lot of warthogs. The concession we were hunting wasn't known for a lot of warthogs. So when this one came in, it was a nice warthog and it was an easy uh, decision to make the shot. There he is, guys. Right there, my first South African warthog. Looks like a good one. He ran about 200 yards or so. I'd get blood the whole way. All right, this is an awesome South African warthog. It has the two warts, typical of a, a, a boar. Sows, they, they only have one. It's just really a mature uh, warthog. And something I've noticed, and Dempsey explained to me why, when I see these things moving, their tails are always straight up in the air. That's so their piglets can follow them through the, the uh, high grass and weeds. You know, it's just, it's just really awesome. Take this animal, just a beautiful animal. Very simple safaris, South Africa, animals everywhere. Just a thrill, amazing hunt. Pumped to take this warthog. Awesome. Jamie, well, coming to the end of our hunt now. Uh, Last sunset in uh, Africa before you guys head, uh, head home for that long flight. Um, but yeah, man, what a time it's been. Eh? Great shooting, awesome trophies. I've had a hell of a time with you, man. It's been an absolute pleasure hunting with you, and I've had a really good time. It was amazing. The animals we saw, the quality of the animals, the food, hospitality, lodging, everything was great. And we just can't be more thankful. Thank you, really. sir. That was fantastic. I enjoyed it. Eh? And we hope to see you back next year. Yes, it'll be great. Awesome, man. We'll be more than happy to have you. Thank you so much. More than eh? happy to come. Awesome. Bailey Simple Safari, check them out, guys. Just an amazing time. And your steering buck, which is a little little stud. <laughs> Let's see what he measures. Three and just over three and a half.
Got a little calf today, Andy. That's it. Captain, I like to stretch my hammies while I'm uh, grilling the meat. <laughs>